Thanks for staying with us. Now, some disturbing new developments surrounding the death of Lindani Miyeni in Hawaii. ENCA has exclusively obtained a recording of the 911 call made at the time of the incident. In it, the female caller makes it clear Miyeni was not armed and was calm. It also shows that officers did not identify themselves as police. The South African-born former rugby player was shot by Honolulu police officers responding to an alleged burglary in progress. Now, please be advised that some viewers may find the following audio disturbing. Someone entered my house. Do you know who they are? He says he's Lyndon. He says South Africa. Do you know who he is personally? Do you know this man? I don't know him. Okay. I don't know this man. What's he wearing? He, he's in the house. What is he wearing? What color is his clothes? It's a black, black T-shirt. Is he white? Is he black? Is he local? I don't know him. I understand you don't know him. I'm asking you what he looks like. So if he runs away, officers can find him. Oh, good. No, what's going on here? Okay. So, what does he look like? Is he white? Is he black? Is he Asian? He's, he's black. Okay, officers are on the way. I just need you to answer some questions. Can you go outside and look for the police man? He, 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 tried to, he tried to go outside. I don't know. Okay, so he's outside now? No, he's, he's inside, but he's close to the front door. Okay, so you can't get outside. Okay, I understand. Officers are coming, okay? They're going to be there soon. <laughs> he's outside. He's outside. Okay. I think he's following us. Where we... She's, he's I... following you, you think? Yeah, he's driving a car when we come to the neighborhood. Okay, so what kind of car does he have? <laughs> I, I, I'm so sorry to go outside to check. It's okay. You don't have you don't have to go outside if you don't feel safe doing it. Do you remember what kind of car he had? <laughs> Do you remember what kind of car? No car he's here. He's, he's, still, he's still in the community. I think the police officer can stop him. Okay. He, officers are... Okay. That's you. What? That's me. He's still in the car. Okay, so I just talked to the officers. I just talked to the officers. They want you to go outside. Okay. So we need you to go outside your bedroom and talk to the officer. You want them to go find you? Which bedroom are you in? Are you are you upstairs? You're upstairs? Okay, you have to help me out. You have to help me out. Tell me where you are in the house so officer can go find you. I need to go out so officer can find me, right? You need to go outside right now. Everything is under control. The man's not going to hurt you. The officers need to talk to you. So my husband and my husband Okay. I'm so terrified. Okay, the man is in handcuffs. He's not going to hurt you, so please walk outside. Stay on the phone, but walk outside, okay? 
It's the first time we've, we've heard that as well, the exclusive we just had for you on the details of that 911 call. Just to remind you as well that uh, the body of Lindani Mayani is going to be uh, returning back home to South Africa later this morning. I understand it to be just after half past 10 uh, this morning. It's a bit of a moving time, but it will be uh, sometime this morning.